All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to record or create an animated GIF using the Screen to GIF tool. And we're going to record from a video that's playing. And then in another tutorial, we'll look at how to import the video and create the animated GIF that way. So first thing we want to do is hit record. So we do that, uh, we need to get a video. So I have this video of the hamsters playing. And I only just want a small part of that video. So what I'm going to do is um, just take it to the beginning here. I've got all framed up. I'm going to hit record. And it's starting to record here. You can see the countdown. And I'm just going to play the video. And we're just going to get a little part of the video. Uh, the key here is you don't want um, a big video because that's just going to cause a lot of uh, file size for you, right? So the file's not going to be really efficient. Uh, we just want this one part. So we're just going to record. We'll play that part here. All right. Let's go ahead and hit stop. I'm going to pause this video as well because I don't need all that. All right, so I can see I've got my uh, video here. You can see all the different frames that are loaded up. Uh, basically, what I want to do is just get a small part. Uh, and I'm, I like this part right here. So we're just going to take this. And um, I'm going to get rid of all these other ones. So just select a frame, drag it to the beginning, hit shift and then delete all of the frames in front of it. And we'll drag uh, to the end here. And let's just go ahead and get rid of all the frames we don't need here as well. All right, so let's hit that. Now we've got the video, so let's go ahead and play this. And you can see how that works. It looks like I didn't cut out all the video, so I've got a few frames here. So we're gonna go ahead and delete those. And uh, we've got our video, our little animated GIF here. Now the key with the animated GIFs, and this probably looks fine, so we're just going to go ahead and keep this. The key is uh, you can save your file size in terms of, or you, you can um, increase or decrease your file size with animated GIFs based on a few things. So one is the obvious is image size. So the larger the image is, the larger the file is going to be. Uh, animated GIFs can become really big files. So you want to try to keep them. I try to keep them under 1.5 megabytes uh, just so they can be downloaded and then they play back. Um, the thing that increases the file size is going to be the information on the screen. So if you have a large part of the screen where nothing's changing, so I think for the most part of this background's not changing. So that's almost, you know, that's probably close to half of the screen or at least a third of it that nothing's changing. So that's information that doesn't have to change from slide to slide. If the camera is panning, for example, then every single pixel has to change and it's going to make the file size larger. So the more motion you have, uh, the more colors and things that are changing, the larger the file size is going to be. If this was a solid background and nothing was changing, then they would dramatically decrease uh, the file size. So something to keep in mind. Uh, you have a lot of richness with the fur and the gold from the horn here. So we're going we're gonna to just look at what this is uh, without doing any changes yet. So the looping, if I play it back, the looping looks fine to me. So that actually works okay. So um, I'm going to keep this as my animated GIF. So I'm going to hit Save As. And we're going to go ahead, let's go ahead and call this Hamster. And I think I already have one, so I'm going to overwrite that. And we're going to hit Save. And let's see how big this file is. And it looks like it's about 2 megabytes. So I'd probably want to bring it down to about 1. Uh, 1.5. Uh, 2 megabytes might be fine for you. Um, if you want to bring it down, there's some things you can do. Like you can get rid of uh, some of these frames. Like there's a few of these frames you probably don't need. So let's say we started here. So I'm going to go for, get rid of these, right? So that's I'm dropping six frames. And um, we can keep this here. And let's go ahead and get rid of these. We'll just get rid of these last three frames and see how that looks. So we got rid of a bunch of frames. So that looks OK. You can hardly tell that it's looping, right? So let's go ahead and see what that is in terms of file size. So we're going to save this. Let's um, save this as uh, hamster1c, I think. I didn't use that yet. So let's go ahead and save that. 
and we can see that it went from 2 megabytes to 1.1. So that actually works out okay, and, and the difference between the two is negligible. Uh, if you wanted more frames, uh, a couple things you could do. Uh, you could go into the edit options and you can remove duplicate frames. You can reduce the frame count and like take frames every third frame out or something like that. Um, the other thing you can do is go to image and if you resize the image uh, that's going to make the, the file uh, smaller as well. So the key thing when you're uh, working this way is uh, you capture something from the video. Realize that you can't have a 20 minute animated GIF. It's going to be massive in file size. And then the, the more color information that's changing from frame to frame, the larger the file size is going to be. So you kind of have to find that balance between uh, the quality that you need and the size of file. Because if it's too large, it's going to take forever to download. And then it takes a while for it to load and, and play back. So you're not going to get the effect that you want. But hopefully this helps you. So it's easy to do a capture of videos or any type of um, anything you have on your screen and make that into a little looping animated GIF using this tool.